Hi, I'm Srikant Singh and welcome to our channel Happy Belly Fish. I will show you today how to make turmeric milk the right way and how you can add a few other spices that can help you with sleep, anxiety, inflammation and improving your overall immunity. Turmeric milk does not have to be a complicated recipe. It is essentially made with just three ingredients, milk, turmeric and black pepper. Well, what about sugar? Yes, we'll come to that somewhere in the video, but let's make the most basic turmeric milk first. Take a saucepan and add about 250 ml of milk and that is enough milk for you and your partner. You can't be sleeping while he's scrolling through the reels, right? So now add half a teaspoon of turmeric and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Stir the ingredients together and bring the milk to a boil. Turn off the heat and allow the milk to cool before you drink it from a glass of course. All right, why black pepper? Well, piperine in black pepper increases the absorption of turmeric by around 2000%. That's like a huge margin. And now you must be wishing that there was some black pepper that could multiply your money like that. So whenever you use turmeric in your cooking, add a tiny amount of black pepper to it. And that is one basic spice combination that you have learned now that will always stand true. There's one exception though, and it has nothing to do with cooking. Turmeric is also used externally as an ingredient in face mask or for minor cuts and bruises. So don't add black pepper to turmeric in these cases. You will not forgive me and yourself for this. I've never tried this face mask with turmeric, but I'm sure it won't make you look like Simpsons. As the milk cools, it will form a thin layer of cream, which most people and especially kids don't like. I don't know why, probably because it feels like you're chewing someone's skin. I think so, that's the reason. But just pass the milk through a sieve and you will have bits of pepper and cream removed. Drink this milk when it's lukewarm. Drinking this hot will do the opposite of calming your nerves and putting you to sleep. And when you drink milk cold, turmeric milk or any other milk straight from the fridge, it will lead to congestion and blocked nose. So no to cold turmeric frappes and turmeric ice cream if that exists. All right, now if you don't know this spice, this is nutmeg. A lot of us have seen this nutmeg powder in the stores, but many of us don't know where it comes from and what nutmeg even looks like. These nuts are not your regular cashew or almond nuts, so don't even try chewing it whole or try to make milk out of it. You will see the future and the future is not always bright. A very small amount of it is very potent, so much that it can actually act like an antibacterial and anti-inflammatory and almost always complements anything that you make with black pepper and turmeric. It also tastes very good with fatty and sweet foods like milk. Nutmeg is also used in traditional medicines to cure intestinal worms, but this spice is something that has to be taken in small amounts. A pinch is enough for a person, which is roughly one eighth to about a quarter of a teaspoon. Just sprinkle some nutmeg on the top of the warm turmeric milk, give it a mix and it is ready. The whole nutmegs are my preferred choice over the nutmeg powders. These are much more potent in flavor, aroma and their medicinal value. To use nutmeg, not just for turmeric milk, but for anything that you want to use, just grate it like this and you have it ready. And this whole nutmeg can last up to two years or more easily. So when you feel a bit more tired or are having some real trouble sleeping, or if you're anxious, then a bit of nutmeg in turmeric milk can be very handy. That of course comes with some conditions attached, good bedtime routine. All right, so why sweetener is optional? That is because cow's or buffalo's milk, if you're using that, then this milk is already naturally sweet. And most people with diabetes or who do not eat sugar may like to avoid it. But if you do want to use sugar, consider using jaggery instead. Jaggery is 50 to 70% sucrose compared to refined sugar, which is 99% sucrose. It is absorbed much more slowly and does not result in a rapid spike in blood sugar levels. So no sugar rush at bedtime. Jaggery is a great source of plant-based iron. It is helpful in treating cold and infections and it also helps in digestion. Now this is ghee and this is not added to turmeric milk to increase your cholesterol. It can actually work like a mild laxative when you add just about a teaspoon of it to your turmeric milk. And this can help with mild constipation. This remedy is not for every day. So use your best secrets when it is most needed. And one of them is to help us grow. So if you're new to our channel and like our content, then please remember to like and subscribe and help us stay motivated. Now the last variation with probably one of the most sought after spice after turmeric, saffron. 
You don't need a stash of cash to use this spice in turmeric milk. Four to five strands of it is enough to improve your mood, libido and sleep and they all come in a specific sequence. This spice is becoming popular as it is known to help with degenerative diseases and also helps in fighting cancer. Saffron milk is considered to be beneficial for women during and after pregnancy. To use saffron with turmeric milk made with regular cow's milk, just add it together with other ingredients when you boil it. But I will show you now how you use saffron in a plant-based milk. And the process is slightly different. And that's because saffron needs some time to soak in the milk and the milk needs to be sufficiently warm. But plant-based milk, they are nice when it's just warm. When you cook it too much, you may not like the taste of it. So take about 100 ml of water in a saucepan, add a pinch or about four strands of saffron to it, add a quarter teaspoon of crushed black pepper and half a teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of jaggery if you want to and bring it to boil. If the plant-based milk is cold, then warm it lightly and then add this spice water to the milk. The aroma and the color of the milk is unbeatable when you use saffron. Imagine taking turmeric, saffron and nutmeg like this every day in this easy and simple way. Now time for some of the most common questions and answers because a lot of us have it and it's about the quantity of turmeric milk that you should have. So whatever you're having with turmeric, be it milk or any other thing, then have it in small quantities instead of taking turmeric in large quantities in one go and hoping for the best. So depending on how much milk you drink, let's say 100 ml, 150 ml or 200 ml, the amount of turmeric should not exceed half a teaspoon in it. Also, if you eat turmeric roots like carrots, then you will look like a color print gone wrong. It will stain your lips, teeth, tongue and toothbrush yellow. So with turmeric milk, you're not coming in direct contact with the herb and you also do not overeat it like a carrot. If you're suffering from cold or congestion, then you can increase the amount of turmeric and black pepper by two times. And this is a temporary measure. It should not become your everyday go-to medicine. You can also use fresh turmeric paste if that is available. And that is more potent than the turmeric powder between fresh turmeric paste and powder turmeric I think it boils down to the convenience and the ease of use at the end one small note about black pepper before I forget even white pepper has piperin in it so if you have that you can use it but don't use Peruvian or Brazilian pink peppers they are not peppers at all and they do not have piperin in it my favorite pepper to add in turmeric milk is actually this long pepper it is very effective in getting relief from nasal congestion and cold and if you love making stews and curries, then try adding this to the gravy and you will love the citrusy aroma that it leaves. And the most important ingredient that we must talk about is the milk. The milk I use for making turmeric milk is A2 cow's milk. And if you're wondering what A2 milk is, then in short, A2 variety does not contain the A1 beta casein protein, which may be difficult for some people to digest. For those who find it hard to digest A1 milk or feel gassy after it, then A2 milk can be a very good alternative. But if for ethical reasons or if you are lactose intolerant, you want to avoid cow's milk, then your best plant-based alternative is almond milk. And that is because it has a comparatively higher amount of calcium. And this is a very important factor when it comes to choosing milk because calcium deficiency is a very big problem. And cow's milk is one of the easiest and affordable ways for most people to get calcium through food. If your daily calcium requirements are covered from some other foods, then you can also use plant-based milk like soy milk, hemp milk, or coconut milk. Turmeric milk traditionally is recommended for children and adults as it helps in bone development and maintaining good bone health. This turmeric milk is also given to nursing mothers to help them heal and recover and to get calcium in their diet easily. Whatever milk you're choosing, make sure it is full fat milk or has high fat content as it will help in better absorption of curcumin. You can add cinnamon, ginger, star anise, cardamom, Indian bay leaf to your turmeric milk. But when the goal is to sleep better, try out the recipes that I have shown you today. Sleep today is the most disregarded necessity of life. Also laughter. And I hope you will add turmeric milk to your bedtime routine and sleep better. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon in the next video.